All right, so super excited to announce that now I have a website live called tomodernottomod.com. You can go and visit right now um, just so you can learn a little bit more about me and about the history about how I got into bikes and, and all the bikes that I've owned you know, in the last couple of years, as well as some videos that you can get access to on YouTube, but they're all compiled here by topics. So you have your modifications page, as well as some of the maintenance videos that I've done uh, for the GSX specifically, as well as a subscriber's rights page. And the intention of this page is just to um, put pictures and videos of subscriber's rights. This is just a way for me to say thank you for all of the people who are supporting me on this channel. Um, so the intention, this is a growing uh, website, so I will be taking your um, suggestions and comments and I'll put them in here. Um, so please get in contact with me and I'll be super happy just to uh, you know, add more topics in the future, maybe pages to discuss about, you know, most frequent questions, etc. So super happy about this. Please go ahead and visit the website and feel free to send me your suggestions or options or content that you like to see in the future. See it, it's moving. Come on. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Oh, it's almost like I have to rotate it. Yeah. Finally. Make sure threads are not damaged. All right, so finally we're back. Um, if you have been following what's been happening with my, my motorcycle, um, we wanted to make sure that the clutch was not slipping. So I was checking the clutch and I ended up breaking one of the bolts that goes into uh, the actual hub, like this one. So yeah, I, I really needed to get a new, new one and then just get the other one out. We're good to go. So a couple of things, first of all, I bought a digital uh, torque meter. This one goes from five foot pounds all the way to like 60, and then anything beyond 60, I'm just gonna be using my normal click one. Um, so that we're gonna be using this one today. I ended up buying a set of five bolts, just like the ones you see here, um, original and brand new from Suzuki. So this is great. And also um, halfway through, I decided how about I just go with the original clutch and I just go ahead and, and put like, um, heavy duty springs. So I'm just going to be showing that actually, you know what, this will be a nice um, time for us to open this here. Um, this is the, the original ones or the OEM ones. And then these are the new ones. So you can tell, um, I'm going to try to squish this one. And then this one, it's about the same pressure, but it says that it's actually 15% stronger than the ones um, that come factory. So it's just an extra measure we can take. Um, fairly cheap, so I'm, if you're interested, I'm just gonna put the information down below um, on the comments, or you can just reach out to me and I'll be happy to share part number and whatnot. So, let's get started. All right, so first steps is, we, I already cleaned this up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring all the, all the friction play, plates and metal plates in place once again. So now we're just gonna put this in here. Oh. 
or lining this in here. Everything is good and secure. Okay. So that's one. Uh, spring number two, just for okay. Number four. And finally, this one. So I have my new thing here. So I'm just gonna, let me put it this way. So it's in peak mode. So it's gonna be tracking the peak um, torque. And let me see if I can, yep, I can get it in here. So if I can confirm, it's at seven pounds. I can use my torque wrench, torque wrench or I can use this. I'm gonna put my 10 this side. Okay. Oh, easiest for me is just to locate where the dowel pins are. So one, what dowel pins are, this one is right here, and then this one. So if you locate them, you have one in here and one in here. So I can go like this, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I think this one goes here. Yep, and this one goes right here. And now I'm just gonna proceed to do this and now I have coverage is not exposed in any place like it's not aligned and now I'm going to go back and start with the bolts at least one just to get it in place okay this is enough so I wanted to do the top All right, so everything is installed now, uh, or torque to spec, um, including inside washer that, that I just installed after doing everything else. Then all bolts are to spec, so now I'm just gonna add oil. Now I just have to uh, put the drink plug back in and then just add oil, check the lever, the cable, um, to make sure that the pressure is not affecting you know, the, the, the feel on the lever and just give it a try and see how it feels. All right, there's oil in the bike. I'm just gonna put the cap on. So as you normally will do, every time you change your oil, please sure you're gonna you know, check your levels and whatnot. Um, so I'm just gonna let the bike just you know, warm off, pull whatever it's in there. And now I'm just gonna come here and get a feel for the clutch. I mean, it feels like it's working good so i don't feel like i have to necessarily just make any adjustments right now but i'm just gonna wait for to i'm just gonna wait to turn the bike on working um, clutch seems to be holding no leaks um, I'm just gonna I remove everything underneath the bike just so I can keep an eye so I'm just gonna leave it um, tonight um, and take a look at it tomorrow to see if it's like souping a little bit of oil or whatever in here I, I, I don't anticipate any of that happen I actually torque everything to spec so I, I'm expecting to be a little bit of pressure with you know um, gasket and everything Clutch feels good, um, and, and it was going through the gears without any issues, you know, pulling or, or using the quick shifter, so no no issues there. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait, just take a quick look tomorrow and take it for a spin and see how it feels.